This can't be right. Why won't you do this? I can't be the one who guides you on as a kid. Well, I you assuming that it's just to discuss this with you before passing right before? I live on my own. I live in a flat. How can you expect me to support him financially when I can't support myself? Well, your sister stated that she has hospitalised and provided for your nephews on keep with food, clothes, money into a savings account from her deposit. Her house is dedicated for you both to live in. I can't just move back and forth from Manchester. Why can't he not just live with his grandpa and granddad? It makes my life so much easier. They can support him with a better lifestyle and a, more, a better courtesy as well. Well, your sister stated that she'd like you to move down south to Brighton. There's, there's a nice view, there's a nice beach, nice school, nice college, nice neighbourhood. It's a great place for a child to grow up. Move. Here. She can't. She can't have meant that. Your sister was a very cautious, very planned out woman. She said, she said here, she said, the person in question gets three grand in moving allowances as well as a limit from my will while he settles in. I mean, I remember you living down here a couple of years ago when your sister was diagnosed with a, a fatal condition. I only came here to help the kid until the mother got back on her feet. No one else would do it. I was a close friend of your ex-wife's and I know how hard this must be for you to go through a, a similar situation. But I felt the need to, but this, I wasn't supposed to do this for all. You've I was just a backup. You've had a dark, troubling life. Don't let this child have one too. But, if you don't feel like you can do it, then that's your right. But, if I don't do it, then who gets him? Well, if you can't think of any friends or family off the top of your head, then you'll have to go into foster care or be put up for adoption. He's under the age of 16.